What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I'm going to be sharing six hidden characteristics of various perks and vests that aren't stated anywhere in their descriptions that you may or may not have known about. Some of these are a little bit more obvious than others, but I wanted to bring them up anyway, just for anybody that may have missed that, since it can be really easy to miss certain things if it's not stated in the description. But let's just dive right into this, and there's actually two perks that have the same or at least a very similar hidden characteristic. And these are both in the gloves category. These are the quick grip gloves as well as the ordnance gloves. And when it comes to the quick grip gloves, if you look at the description, it just says that it increases your weapon swap speed. And then for the ordnance gloves, the description states that you can throw equipment further and you can reset the fuse timer on thrown back grenades. It turns out both of these have an additional characteristic and that is they both allow you to use equipment and field upgrades faster than if you aren't using these gloves. Now, in general, with all of the pieces of equipment that I tested, the quick grip gloves were just very slightly faster than the ordnance gloves in this area, but we're talking by a negligible amount. On average for both of these, we were seeing a roughly 20 to 30% improvement to our ability to use or throw these pieces of equipment or field upgrades. And honestly, this is a really excellent bonus characteristic for both of these gloves. Because especially if you look back to my breakdown of the quick grip gloves, in many cases, it wouldn't even allow you to swap weapons faster, which is the only stated upside with those gloves. So with that in mind, I thought these gloves were completely useless. And it turns out they're not. Having the ability to use your field upgrades faster and throw equipment faster is an excellent benefit that you'll gain with either one of these gloves. Now to take this to the next level, I also wanted to test the overkill vest because this vest includes the listed characteristic of the quick grip gloves, which is you can swap weapons faster. Obviously that doesn't stack, but I wanted to know if it also got the hidden characteristic of the quick grip gloves. And it turns out it does. We also have the ability to throw equipment faster while using the overkill vest, which is excellent. Now, obviously you can't use field upgrades any faster because you can't use a field upgrade with the overkill vest, but at least when it comes to throwing lethal and tactical equipment, you do that at the exact same speed as if you're using the quick grip gloves. As for the next hidden characteristic I wanted to look at, this is with the CCT comms vest. And in the description, this has two primary characteristics. The first characteristic is it increases the duration that enemies stay on the radar and it zooms out the radar for you and nearby allies. Then for the second characteristic, it mentions that enemies that you kill will drop intel packs, which generate a radar ping for you and nearby allies when collected. And it turns out that's also what the data jacker gear does. However, there's one additional characteristic that isn't stated on the CCT comms vest, and this is when an enemy player calls in a UAV for their team, you get one free radar sweep from their UAV. And while it is a fairly minor thing, it's just nice to know that this additional characteristic exists because it's not stated anywhere in the menu, and this is just one extra bonus of using the CCD comms vest. Now, since this vest does share something in common with the data jacker gear as well, I wanted to test that to see if you also get a free radar sweep, and unfortunately, no, you don't. This one only applies to the vest itself. After that, let's talk about a hidden characteristic of another perk that I'm sure many of you guys have noticed by now, but I'm still getting a lot of questions about this and seeing a lot of people with some confusion surrounding this topic. So I thought it was definitely worth bringing up here. And this is with the Covert Sneakers. And if you read the description for that, it says it just eliminates footstep audio. But another thing that Covert Sneakers do that they don't tell you about is it will actually silence most of your character's voice lines. And this is where a lot of the confusion comes in. I've seen a lot of people talking about this in the community. I've seen a lot of questions on Twitter or in my comment section with people saying, I think my operator's voice lines are bugged because I used to hear them making callouts and stuff and now I don't hear anything. And while it's possible that some of the operators could be bugged, I'm not personally aware of any bugs surrounding this, I would say it's most likely that the explanation for this is that person swapped over to Covert Sneakers, which does mute most of your voice lines. And just for an example, when you place a tactical insertion, this is what it sounds like when you're not using Covert Sneakers. Drop point set! So you could really clearly hear him say, drop point set. Now let's have a listen when using Covert Sneakers. As you can tell, there's now nothing when it comes to voice lines. However, you may have noticed that I mentioned most of your voice lines are muted. There is one voice line in particular that I was able to find in my testing that is going to be present with or without covert sneakers. And this is when you ping an enemy player. And I'll just play these ones back to back. First one will be without covert sneakers and the second clip is with covert sneakers. Locking hostiles, enemy here. So as you can see, it doesn't necessarily completely get rid of the voice lines, but it will be muting nearly all of your voice lines while playing the game. And like I said, that isn't stated anywhere in the description for the Covert Sneakers. 
Next up, let's get into the bone conduction headset. And when you read the description for this one, it says it reduces combat noise, allowing improved identification of enemy footsteps and gunshots. And the hidden characteristic with this is obvious to a lot of people, basically anybody that's used the bone conduction headset with any sort of frequency. You probably already know this, or if you've seen my footstep video comparing the bone conduction headset versus covert sneakers, the big characteristic with this, and actually the main reason to use the bone conduction headset, is it actually increases enemy footstep audio without increasing teammate footstep audio. And you could argue that that interpretation could be made based on the description, but it's not explicitly stated that enemy footsteps will be louder. It just states that it reduces combat noise, which is something else the bone conduction headset does. This will get rid of basically all ambient noise on the map but it doesn't explicitly state that enemy footstep volume will be increased while using this perk. And just in case you haven't run into this and weren't aware, here's a couple clips. The first clip is gonna be without bone conduction headset, and the second clip is using the bone conduction headset. Have a listen. So there you go, with the bone conduction headset, you can clearly tell the footstep volume of enemy players is significantly boosted. And again, while you could argue that that interpretation of the description could be made, it isn't explicitly stated anywhere, and if you're brand new to the game, for instance, and you're checking out your perks, I highly doubt that just reading that description would give you an indication that enemy footstep volume is actually boosted. So that's why I feel this belongs in the video, even though I'm sure most of you guys are already aware of this. But then finally, there's one extra characteristic I wanted to point out that isn't stated in the description for the new Assassin Vest as well as the Ghost TV Camo. These actually work exactly the same in this area, whether you're moving or not. But this is how these react against the advanced UAV. And while this is no different from what we saw last year with Modern Warfare 2, I do want to at least make this clear since I have had some people questioning this, and it doesn't clearly label this anywhere in the description. You'll notice in the description for the Assassin Vest, it says you're immune to UAV and enemy radar effects, including while stationary. Whereas with the Ghost TV camo, it says, while moving, it blocks detection by UAVs, enemy radar sources, and heartbeat sensors. And it's worth noting, with neither of them do they mention anything about advanced UAVs. And when you look at the advanced UAV description, it doesn't mention how it interacts with these either. So I just wanted to point out that against an advanced UAV, you are of course not immune to the effects of the enemy radar, as the description for the assassin vest may lead you to believe. And instead, what will happen now is instead of showing up as a real-time arrow when the enemy has an advanced UAV in the air, now you're just gonna be showing as a standard diamond and this diamond appears in a sweeping fashion like a regular UAV would against somebody not using this vest or the Ghost TV camo. So you're not completely immune to the advanced UAV, it's just a partial counter where they can't track your location in real time. And like I said, surprisingly, this works exactly the same with the Assassin Vest and the Ghost TV Camo. Even if you're standing still with the Ghost TV Camo, you're still only gonna show up as a diamond rather than a real-time arrow, even though technically the Ghost version of the perk should be disabled in those moments. Additionally, just like with Modern Warfare 2, it's worth noting that in some ways, this is actually going to reveal more information for the enemy players, because they can also see your elevation indicator, whereas against people that aren't using this vest or gear, they'll show up with that real-time arrow, and that real-time arrow doesn't show an elevation indication. So there we go, just wanted to clear that up in this video as well, since it isn't explicitly stated anywhere, and I have had some people questioning it. And with that, that's finally gonna wrap it up for a bunch of hidden characteristics that I found with many of the perks and vests in Modern Warfare 3. And this is where I'm curious to hear from you guys in those comments down below. First off, were there any of these characteristics that you were unaware of before watching this video? And second, have you managed to find any other hidden characteristics with the perks or vests that aren't explicitly stated in the description? If you found any, please let me know in those comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.